All right, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome to the Crypto Truth, where I give you the truth as I see it. As I stated before, I'm kind of out here, so you guys, I'm gonna get like three video, uh, three videos uh, together, two videos actually, um, the Crypto Quickie and this one. So you're gonna get them together. But anyway, kind of wanted to talk about <clears throat> um, Diem. So Libra changed their name. They they ran into a lot of problems. Um, they said, hey, we're going to come out with our own digital currency. And then um, they kind of changed their tune and said, well, you know, we're going to have um, it's all going to be backed by um, fiat currency. And then they kind of like went off into the background and then they came back and then now they've changed it and said they're going to have something called DM. And so they've kind of been on a, on a, um, on a lowdown. But there's a whole lot of things going on that I want everyone to understand. I want everyone to understand where all of these things are going right now, okay? So first and foremost, I want you guys to understand that Diem is not going anywhere. Facebook has this grandmaster plan, and I'm kind of seeing it. And you have to be able to look past and look into the future. So I want you guys to be able to understand that what I'm saying right now is not happening right now, but what is going to happen, what I believe is going to happen in the future. Now, I'm not like a psychic or anything like that, but basically I just kind of follow the numbers. I follow common sense and I see what's going on. So first and foremost, um, DM, they said that DM was going to be like a, uh, you know, it's going to be fiat backed and by all of these um, like, like behind gold and, and, and American dollars and just a mixture of everything. Well, a lot of governments didn't like that. They understand, governments fully understand that Facebook has the ability to be able to go from um, being a trillion dollar company, billion, trillion, billion, trillion, whatever, dollar company, quadruple. Um, Facebook is everywhere. Facebook is in the continent of Africa, Asia, um, uh, North America, South America, Facebook is everywhere. And to be able to have a single currency, to be able to go from one point to another point is awesome, okay? So, all the connections that Facebook have, all the information that Facebook has as well, that's most important. They're going to use that to the maximum of their ability. So Facebook has all of these connections. So what they're going to do is enable, and it's going to happen, people, in the future. It's going to, it's in, it's going to enable people to operate and construct business with each other without the need of fiat currency or any other currency, and which means, and to be able to create, they're going to create smart contracts on their uh, system, the blockchain, their network, whatever it is, so that um, you will be protected. So, for example, if you have, you know, eight hundred dollars in Bitcoin, and you buy something, Facebook will have that covered, and there will be a smart contract and a release. This is going to happen. Now, how is Facebook going to be able to do this? Number one, Facebook is going to be able to do this through video games. I don't think you guys really understand what's been happening, um, but the Oculus Quest is one of the most um, sought after game systems and they keep running out. Why is that? Well, the reason being is because of the fact that with COVID, a lot of people decided, hey, you know what? I'm gonna stay in my house. I wanna do some activities while staying in my house, but also I wanna be able to communicate with others. But well, Facebook allows that. Lib um, not Libra, excuse me. The Oculus Quest allows that. The Oculus Quest, I've met people from Australia, from Germany, from all over the world. And to be able to just see people and meet, uh, not see, see their avatars, they be able to wave and say hello and all of these kind of things. And now you can set up virtual meetings and you can have all of these things happening to where what happens when now you're able to exchange currency? Hey, how's it going? You know, I want to go to this meeting or I want to go to this meeting online or a virtual meeting, which they are having virtual meetings as well. And it costs, I don't know, 15 DM. Well, okay, I'm going to go in this meeting. It's going to cost me 15 DM. I'll pay my 15 DM in my um, Facebook account. So um, Facebook is also already being sued, obviously, because of the whole, you have to have Facebook in order to um, operate in Oculus. Um, but anyway, the point is, is that, that that's the reason why they did it that way. 
um, and then they also made it super duper cheap okay uh, for the for the quality uh, for what they have they made it super duper cheap so anyway going back into what I was stating that's that's the first plan the first plan is they're going to do it through video games the second plan they're going to do it through a banking system um, Facebook is going to have their own banking system okay so um, it is what it is and um, it it's going to be big so for many people um, who say well you know it's going to be a stable coin I don't believe it's going to be a stable coin this is my own personal opinion I don't know this yet I believe that they may say it's going to be a st stable coin and then later on it's not going to be a stable coin because you're not going to have a stable coin backed by the US dollar when the US dollar is whew, the um, it's depreciating so I'm just stating that um, it doesn't make sense for them to have a stable coin or even create a stable coin it makes sense for them to create their own coin so that it can have its own value um, in the future which I do believe is going to happen governments are afraid of this they're not gonna like it but at the end of the day what's going to happen is Bitcoin is already disrupting the market um, as it is and guess what's going to happen and um, when everyone finally figures it out wait there are other crypto projects out there there's Cardano there's Stellar there's um uh, 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 XRP uh, or Ripple so I'm telling you these are things that um, will be extremely it's going to it's, it's, it, the market is already uh, being disrupted the finance market is already being disrupted and so now we're going to have even more of the market being disrupted by everything that's been going on so um, in a way I just wanted to give you guys a heads up of exactly what's going on, what's happening. I'm telling you guys, um, I personally, I don't like Facebook. I can't stand Facebook. I really can't. But at the end of the day, when you look at it from a money point of view and what they're trying to do, um, it, it's going to be huge. I will say that there's a lot of projects out there that's actually fighting against Facebook um, and to create more privacy. However, those, I don't see them coming out um, within this year. I do see them coming out maybe two or three years from now, built on what else? Hollow chain. So anyway, uh, you guys take it easy. Have a great day. My opinions on DM. I need, I need to, need to, need to make a video on header hashgraph and, um, um, and Adam. I think I already did with Adam Cosmos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, head our hash graph. I really need to get that in there. I apologize. Um, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Please enjoy enjoy yourselves. I won't um, be available tomorrow, so I won't be having a crypto quickie tomorrow. Um, not that I have a date or anything like that, but I will be busy all day um, that day. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. And as I always, always say, stay safe out there.